Welcome, welcome back. So some of you have watched two videos by now. Some of you might be watching. This is your very first video, but essentially this is where we begin to talk about Microsoft specific implementation of a content management system, SharePoint. Now I'll tell you, SharePoint is probably Microsoft's crown jewel. It's considered by many to be Microsoft's greatest achievement today, Pro um, maybe even better than their operating systems. Maybe. I mean, you could definitely make some arguments, but as far as on as far as on usability, likability, um, pretty much blowing, um, pretty much offering a lot of tools that you don't typically see in many different, many many different systems. Um, SharePoint has really came along, and it is an excellent, excellent system. I'm not saying other systems aren't excellent. I'm just simply saying that this is an excellent system. What I like about this, as far as on our content management series here, and what I like about SharePoint, um, SharePoint is that. You know, one of the biggest advantages is that you can scale it from you can scale it from big companies to small companies, and there's something there for everybody. Probably the biggest thing that I get from people whenever I teach a SharePoint course is this product does everything, which is which is true. It really does. It really does. See, this has been built with all of Microsoft's all, all of Microsoft's you know um, all of Microsoft's products in mind. So it has automatic working with every single Office program, although, um, or every single Office program within the suite, Word, Excel, you name it. Although most CMS systems have some sort of um, automatic functionality to work with those because they're so commonly used. Um, it's got, it's got built-in built -in support as far as on being able to handle scalability and things like that that are pretty nice. And then there are a couple of other advantages, like for example, you know, think about some of the things you can do. If I told you I could take it, I could take, you can give me someone who's a business user, for example, uh, who's never done any sort of web development or whatever else, and taking SharePoint, give me two days, and I could teach them how to develop a full-blown, powerful website. Oh, I really could. You can do that in SharePoint. It's built in out of the box. So when we begin to talk about this at the beginning, let's answer a couple of questions. SharePoint first. What is it? So SharePoint, what is it? Oh goodness, very common question that I get. SharePoint, what is it? Microsoft's version, SharePoint is Microsoft's version of a content management system. For those of you who might just be coming on to this lecture first, if you don't know what a content management system is, we had two previous ones where we covered that. It's powerful, really, really powerful. You can scale it for big and s small companies. Small companies right now, because of this recent cloud or whatever else storage, can actually use Office 365. Well, big companies too, but Office 365 allows small, um, allow small and mid-sized organizations to use this with with no cost in, in hosting or hardware. In other words, Microsoft will host SharePoint for you. If you want to practice, Microsoft, one nice thing about Microsoft as opposed to many other vendors is that they are extremely proactive about making sure that sample virtual machines, things like that are available to where you can practice. Um, that's one thing that they've always done extremely well. In this case, guys, or ladies and gentlemen, there's, there's something called the SharePoint Information Worker virtual machine, which is what I'm using right now. You can, you can download that for free and use it to be able to practice with SharePoint. It's a pre-built version, pre um, version of SharePoint that's available download and and use to test out SharePoint pre-built and ready even with several several even with a couple of hundred dummy users so to speak with pictures and everything else in it where you can do all sorts of things with users and you name it so that's what this is this is Microsoft's version of a content management system and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preview this real quick just to kinda show it to you um, first thing you guys notice is I talked about a content management system and I said that it's one place where you can share information well Logically think that through real quick what I said earlier and think about one place where we could share information. What's the most universal form of sharing information that's out there? A browser? HT HTTP? That's the most universal form of sharing. I mean, it really is. So as you can see, here I've actually brought in a SharePoint site and you notice that it's got, and you notice that it's actually got browser-based functionality. Now from this browser, I can do everything. 
or I can do a lot of things essentially. And it's designed to be quick, where you can learn it pretty fast. So for the rest of the series now, guys, we're going to go into our, we're going to really deep dive into the two hour, into the two hour end user section sort of, and wrap it up. And we're going to see how to use the, how to use a bunch of the functionality right here. Some of you may want to be clicking and clicking along while I actually show things, or want to watch and then may want to try. Um, again, you can try two things. You can either go to Office 365, just Google the term Office space 365, like number 365. Um, and it'll take you right there where you can register, I think, for six months for free right now. But just in case this lecture ever becomes dated because things change, that's right now. Um, that's actually in 2012 at the moment. I don't know what it'll be in the future, but at the moment, while Microsoft has made a product available, um, you, can, you can get a free trial for essentially six months. And then later on, if you wanted to, you could um, $7.65 a user, which makes it extremely proactive because suddenly the small law firm or medical office or even a bunch of other small companies can quickly get functionality up and ready in SharePoint and take advantage of its massive amount of functionality. Now, for those of you who are interested in that, watch the rest of the two-hour course. This is a free course um, that this is a free course that I'm making available that's not out there, and I think it'll help out a lot in being able to understand just some of the things we can do. Because get ready, guys, get ready. You're going to see a lot. See you on the next lecture.